Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I am headed out uh, tomorrow morning on an adventure. I will be driving all the way from the uh, sunny, happy southern state of Virginia where everything is awesome and also illegal. Uh, yeah, everything in Virginia is illegal. Like there's like a billion laws. It's terrible. And I'll be driving up to New Hampshire. The reason I'm going to New Hampshire is because there is a uranium mine there that the public can go to called Ruggles Mine. And Ruggles Mine used to be a uranium mine long ago in the day. Nowadays, it's kind of like a tourist place. You go there and you can mine gems and minerals and all sorts of random stuff. And I'll be going there. I've got my um, you know trusty pickaxe ready to rock and roll and got this um, little chisel thing here. And basically put, I'll be running around looking for rocks. Not just uranium, of course. I'll be looking for a bunch of other stuff too, you know, like garnets, things like that, you know, just all kinds of rocks. So they have piles of different rocks that uh, you can get. And when I, I shouldn't call them rocks, I should call them minerals, especially since I actually took mineralogy and stuff like that and actually kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, well, layman. I am a layman of mineralogy. I don't have any degree in mineralogy, but I did actually take some mineralogy classes. So I have like a little bit more than the average person does in mineralogy. Let's see here. I also am bringing these two important books with me. If I can drag them out. All right. Oh, focus. I have my Rocks and Minerals book. Fair use. And I have my Introduction to Radioactive Minerals. Fair use. Yeah, it's fair use. Come on. I flipped through it for like three seconds. Are you kidding me? All right. <clears throat> uh, and as I already said, I have tools. Um, I'm going to be bringing... Oh, God. I'm going to be there for two days. Well, I'll be there for four... There's four total days. One, driving all the way from Virginia to New Hampshire. Mine, mine, driving all the way back because I'm crazy. Uh, I will be doing gamma spectroscopy and using Geiger counters and scintillators when I get there. For example, I have my uh, uh, gamma spectacular here, so I will be able to do um, civil defense. So I'll be able to do um, gamma spectroscopy right in the field. And of course, as usual, I always have my polymaster, and the polymaster will be useful as well. As a result of this, I'll be able to do um, that in my love them. Go away, cat. Get down from there. Bad kitty. I'll be able to um, do what a lot of the other people there won't be able to do. I'll actually be able to hunt down the uranium because I have uh, the equipment to detect it, such as a scintillation counter and all this other stuff. Now, let me read off the minerals that they have at the place. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to video the whole thing and bring it back. I've got my video camera and everything. The videos, according to their website, that they have are albite. I've mined that before. Amethyst, I've mined that before. Appetite, I've mined that before. Autonite, never mined that, but that's a form of uranium. Um, Amphibolite, uh, Apolite, Aquamarine, I've mined that. Bear, um, Bertrandite, never mind that. Beryl, that's interesting. Of uranium and beryllium in the same look. Oh, beryl, beryllium. It's beryllium's the element. Beryl's a compound of it. Uh, but basically, uh, beryllium is not the sort of thing you normally want to put near uranium, so I think that's kind of interesting. Beta uranophane, biotite, boronite, calcite, uh, um, uh, chrysoberyl, uh, clark clarkite. I doubt that. Uh, I doubt they have clarkite. They have it listed, but I, I doubt that. Um, uh, Clevelandite, columbite. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. But let me give you the uranium ones. Here, let me just give you the quick list of uranium ones. Autonite's a form of uranium. They have that beta uran uranophane. They have that. Um, what else do they have? That's uranium, 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 uranium. Gummite, that's uranium. Um, they have. Blah, 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 blah. What else do they have right here? Err. Err. Torbonite, torbonite. Oh my god, I love torbonite. That's uranium. They have uh, tourmaline, black tourmaline, which is actually called squirrel. They don't have that listed, but it's squirrel. That's great. That's not uranium. I just love uh, tourmaline. They have a uh, urana, uh, uranite. I never said that right. Uh, it says uranium, which is kind of amusing because that's what all the rest of that stuff is. Uranophane, uranospinite. Uh, that looks like probably all of it. Zircon, of course, because wherever you have zircon, you have uranium. So this is going to be an interesting trip. We'll see what kind of things we have. I have like my um, lead. This is really heavy. Pieces of lead here, for example, that I can um, that I can use to block down all of the um, 
uh, background while I'm testing things. I'll have Geiger counters galore, random spectra I've around here. Uh, and we'll see what kinds of things we can come back with. So two days at the mine should be impressive. Uh, there you go. Now I wanted to bring up one other little thing after five minutes of yapping. Um, this is kind of important <clears throat> because it has nothing to do with mining at all, but it has to do with uh, uh, depleted uranium that I put a video up about it a little while ago. <clears throat> People go on about your depleted uranium. First off, I should point out depleted uranium is not safe. Duh. I mean, really, honestly, who the hell would think it was safe? It's not safe. It's obviously chemically toxic, and it is radiologically toxic, too. So it's radioactive, and it's chemical. So even if you took the radiation away from it, it would still be chemically hazardous. It would be basically a little worse than lead. And if you got rid of the chemical part of it, it's radioactive. So again, it's dangerous. So the point of the matter is, is that depleted uranium is a pain in the, in the behind. But depleted uranium gets this weird sort of connotation. A lot of people don't take into account. It's, it's basically the same thing as normal uranium. Let me tell you what the difference is. For every 170-something or other parts, I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head. I think it's 0.007-something, I think. But for every 170 plus or minus atoms of uranium-238, there exists like one atom of uranium-235. A little tiny bit of it. It's way less than 1%. Okay? Now, if you, that's natural uranium out of the ground. So you take a, a rock you know, that's uranium and you, you melt it down in caustic soda and do all this stuff to it and you extract the uranium metal. So now we have like a piece of uranium metal in our hand, right? Purified uranium metal. It's technically not natural uranium because it doesn't have all the other junk. It doesn't, doesn't look like this. It looks like a piece of metal. But that purified metal uh, is just basic uranium. There's nothing amazing about it. It's, you know, the ratios U238 to U235 are the same. If you do things to it to increase the amount of 235 in it, to start raising it up, that is called enrichment. You hit about 3 or 4% and then you have fuel grade. You hit about 80 or up and you have weapons grade. If you make it go down, which is ironically the byproduct of doing the other one I just mentioned. If you make it go down so there's less 235 than there already is, and there's very little, just the tiniest little bit less too, I might add, you end up with what's called depleted uranium. That's it. Your uh, natural uranium, uh, uh, refined uranium, chemically refined uranium, and depleted uranium are chemically identical. There's an, as a, there's an isotope difference between the two of them, but that's it. I have a cat that just appeared behind me. Did you notice that? So just wanted to point that out. So when you're looking up stuff about uranium and depleted uranium, they're not, it's not like they do something to deplete uranium to make it even worse than normal uranium. It's still just uranium. Now you can do things like it. You can uh, modify its oxy oxygen states and stuff like that that can cause problems, make it a little bit more or less of a trouble, but that still applies to normal uranium. So there you go. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com and um, I will contact you from the mine.